Welcome to our Unfiltered Kitchen. I'm Cheyenne Floyd. I'm Papa Floyd. And today we're going to be making my salmon, his potatoes, and then we're going to do some roasted broccoli. Uh, we love being in the kitchen. I grew up in the kitchen. I feel like I've learned so many things in the kitchen and we thought it's only right that we create this channel. So let's get started and let's chop it up. One of my favorite dishes is salmon. I love making salmon. Zach literally will be like, can you stop making salmon? Because sometimes we have weeks where salmon is all we eat. So all I'm doing is chopping some lemon slices. Now this is gonna go on top of your salmon. Like he said, we will use some extra thin pieces. Okay, so what Cheyenne is talking about, and, and look, I've done it this way and I still do at home at times. In some dishes, Italian dishes, particularly like spaghetti, you know, I think it's nice. Yeah, I think it's nice. Chunky. Yeah, but if you want it so that it's, you know, really chopped down, you know, go in there and chop it down. Okay, now that we have garlic for a whole year chopped and the lemon, so we have the lemon garnish that's gonna go on top of the salmon, and then we have some big lemon wedges that we're just gonna use to squeeze to go on the salmon. Next, we have a bunch of um, parsley, and we're just gonna like roughly chop this also. This is all gonna go onto the salmon. I went through like a phase of where I really liked one sheet meals, I think that's what they're called. Like one pan meals where you can literally just put like salmon, potatoes, broccoli, asparagus on one oh, pan. Oh nice, nice. Yeah, and just, it's so simple and I feel like they're really healthy depending on like what you put on it. like we used to do the roasted chicken. Yeah. Roasted chicken all in the pot. And you potatoes, put the potatoes right in there, the juice gets in the potatoes, the things, and right. you know, carrots in there. Yeah, beautiful. Big big pieces of onion. Yeah. So I feel like that's one of the things that you can do with this dish is that you can literally put this all on one pan and pop it in the oven. I always put my potatoes first and then my salmon and then my broccoli last because it just cooks a little faster. So I have everything prepped so far. We have the garlic, we have the lemon, we have the parsley. And then all I'm gonna do for the um, broccoli is just a rough chop just to make the pieces just a little bit smaller. And then this is all gonna go onto a baking sheet. So let me grab um, the salmon and then grab the baking sheet. So I have this olive oil spray, which has been like my new favorite thing. Um, I think it's a lot of fun, but yeah. So I just spray the pan and then we're just gonna put the roughly chopped um, broccoli onto the pan, like so. Okay, so I'm just gonna finish putting um, the broccoli on here and we sprayed the pan at the bottom with the olive oil, but you're also gonna put some olive oil onto your broccoli and then I'm gonna put on some salt and pepper and then some garlic powder onto this. First I'm gonna use my spray olive oil, which I just have too much fun doing. But I'm gonna use some salt and then some pepper. So, pepper, cracked pepper I use a lot. Yeah. I hardly ever use salt. If I do use the salt, mm -hmm. and I'll tell you why. It, well, because blood pressure and all that. But really, all the seasonings that we grab, like we like lemon pepper a lot yeah, in we our do. family. So, but what I've seen is a lot of seasonings, you know, that you get, you know, seasoning blends, take it some, put it in your palm and taste it. You taste the salt in it. Almost everything has salt. When you go to the store and you buy food already, or whether it's you know, frozen spinach or whatever, it's already salted. Everything is salted. I don't think there's one dish that does not have a little pepper on it. But this is basically what your broccoli's gonna look like. Um, I tossed it around in the olive oil. It has salt, cracked pepper, lemon pepper, and a little bit of granulated um, garlic powder. You're gonna set this to the side. This is gonna go in the oven last because it doesn't take long and it's just like roasted broccoli. It gets a little char on it, it gets a little crunchy and it's really, really good. And what's nice about broccoli too, and a lot of people aren't aware, of, you know, they, they trip out because they think that you have to 
steam or cook broccoli. And you see, I just cut the bottom, bottom of this off. You can actually do broccoli raw. Now, this is a beautiful little broccoli chip, you know, whatever you want to call it. But. So, what I have is I have a little, uh, um, it's dried onion. It's a seasoning. Uh, kind of roasted dried onion. I've got a little bit of dried parsley. Once the liquid, the heat hits it, it's going to open up the fragrance. Black pepper. I've got some garlic pepper. And again, that garlic pepper has salt in it. Because you see, I, I'm not going to name any salts. Um, and I put a little lemon pepper in there. That's going to have some salt in it. Mostly it's, gra it's granulated salt. Okay, I don't know if you can see it. Now I'm going to also take some of this beautiful garlic because we're a big garlic family too. Usually I have some cayenne pepper too, but I just didn't bring my cayenne all my seed. I was bringing too much and a little bit of white pepper. You guys got to get into white pepper. White pepper has a different taste than black pepper and it's a, just a beautiful thing. Okay. But anyway, we're going to take those. I'm going to throw a little butter in there. I'm going to melt it down. First, I'm going to do some butter in here just to get that garlic, that flavor, that, that aroma coming out. And then once I mash my, my I'm not gonna mash them like in the pot. I'm gonna take them out, put them on the cookie tray, mash them individually. So what you're gonna end up with is kind of, and then we're gonna bake it. So it's gonna be crispy on the outside like a french fry, but soft in the middle like a french fry. So I rinsed my salmon and then I'm going to season it. And while I season it, I'm gonna get some butter melted. And in the butter, I'm gonna add in some of the garlic that my dad did his little squeezy thing with, and then some of the parsley and a little bit of lemon juice. So I'm just gonna get that melted down. It doesn't have to be like all the way melted down, but at least partially. This butter is already pretty soft. Um, the garlic that he chopped, and then I'm just gonna take like a handful of the parsley. And I am gonna take the remaining of this butter along with my garlic, because I'm gonna run that onto the potato. And I'm gonna let that start just to get a little bit of heat. In my seasonings, I have granulated garlic powder, garlic salt, and chili powder. Um, I already rinsed off the, it looks like this. I tried to make it look pretty, but you know. And I'm just going to season my salmon very, very well with all three of them. Once the butter sauce is getting melted, then I add a little bit of white wine to it just to add a little extra zzz. A little zzz, say it again? Zzz. A little zzz. No, zzz. A little zzz. <laughs> a little flavor. I wanted to see how many times yeah. you would say, can you find us some cups, my friend? Uh, yes, I can. Rare is a organization that Shai got introduced to on her quest to learn more about rare diseases. Oh yeah. Oh, you still have those. You won yeah. those in the auction. That's right. Look We're at you, in, Dad. We went to DC one day and participated as a family um, in this program. Everyone Again, to a program Thanks. to a bring to bring awareness to rare diseases because. And you know what, you know, Ryder, you know, Ryder's a fighter, but Ryder is getting, managing her VEL clad and the family fine. Yeah. It's almost like no issue. Where we got some of these diseases that we got enlightened to. Oh my gosh, it was ooh, way too man, much for way me. Way too much. It's almost like, okay, we can't, can't be a baby at all. No, we can't. You know. Cheers. So, yeah, cheers. Alright, your salmon's looking good, but what are we gonna do with the tail here? Let's the tail hang okay, out. I didn't think the salmon was that big because in the package it wasn't, so the tail's the, just gonna hang out. No, baby, give it a cut right there. And then put it and over then, here? Yes, yes, yes. Otherwise, that, you know. I thought it was just uh, gonna. Uh, uh, what, what, what? Okay. I thought he was chilling on that side. The pan wasn't yeah, big enough. Yeah, there you go. Okay, okay. There you okay. go, there you go. All right, where my where my towel go? All right, rookie mistake. Don't worry about it. <laughs> then we're gonna put some cracked pepper on it. Oh, 
So next, I'm gonna add in some of my lemon slices. Next, I'm gonna add some more of the parsley. I like a lot of parsley on mine, so this is just my personal preference. You do not have to put this much parsley on yours. And then I'm just gonna save the rest of this for, um, the nice look afterwards. Yeah, to make it look pretty after. And then I'm gonna add some fresh lemon juice to thing. So I learned this trick watching Food Network and I just didn't do it. When you squeeze your lemon to like put in your hand so then you catch the seeds and it still didn't do it. So I'm just gonna hit it with some more lemon juice. I like a lot of lemon juice in mine. So this is what it looks like right now. Oh, nice, nice. And then this is melted butter, garlic, wine and i did a heavy pour of the wine not gonna lie if you're doing this on a one sheet pan and you're putting everything on it then i would say to wrap your salmon in foil because then it keeps all of the juice in there so it doesn't make your other items soggy but then when you eat it just dip the stuff in it like i like to dip my broccoli into the salmon little bag that i make but yeah that's just if you put it on there oh let me pour it this way so you guys can see i'm just pouring it on there and getting it pretty much covered all around okay so this is what it looks like and then i get it right into the oven because did it's you preheat the oven i did i preheated the oven to 350 and it kind of starts to cook once it's in this yeah. juice yeah. um you can kind of see that the salmon's already turning different colors so i'm gonna get this popped into the oven and mm -hmm. ready to go when i was packing my things up knowing what she was making mm -hmm. i brought this for what? For her. Oh, to zest the salmon? Yes. I kept looking at it like, why did you bring that for your oh, potatoes? Man. No, for okay, your Okay, rookie mistake. Rookie we mistake. should just keep yeah. a freaking tally no, of no, my no. mistake. I, I just want, I want you to understand. All right, I kept, okay. I knew, I swear I was like, is right. that, I didn't know if that was for me or for you, but That's whatever, 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 whatever. You know whatever. What? But this is how she has learned. She thinks that she knows it all now. I don't think I know it all. No, I mean, you know, think I think I know enough. Oh, no, you do. I think my man eats good. Oh no, he, no, when I come around, he good. <laughs> you know she made one time and it was some some tomato soup. Oh, I made the best and it tomato was really soup nice. ever. It was nice. Best That's something I had soup. nothing to do with. I didn't teach you that. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna take a little bit of uh butter spray. She uses olive oil. I use butter. Pop it on here. Okay. Now again. Look at how much butter spray he put on here. <laughs> Okay, let's not be critical. <laughs> <laughs> My feelings get hurt. Okay, big boy, look at that butter spray. So, what I have going over here, and I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna incorporate these other things that we have. And again, it's um, garlic powder, because again, we're a garlic family. So I got fresh garlic and garlic, granulated garlic. Uh, there was some Parsley, both. I had to dry because I wasn't sure if we had any fresh here. You guys, um, this looks and smells so freaking good. Um, dried onions, okay? And what you're smelling now is that onion and garlic, garlic release. I that, could that take a bath in that. Yeah. There's a little bit of lemon pepper because we <laughs> just put lemon pepper in everything. Um, there, are, there is some garlic pepper because we put pepper in everything. White pepper. Which again, you guys, I, I would advocate you guys get this white pepper and just try it. It's just, it's a different pl flavor than dark pepper. Yeah, the only time I've ever used white pepper is in my yes. mashed potatoes and in my chicken soup. Yeah, yeah. Mashed potatoes or when you do like a, a chicken salad. I've never that's that. that's when you can taste it. When you're putting it in like with something simple like uh, mayo. Oh, okay. so well, you're smashing this. I'm smashing it. But I saw this on TikTok one day and it really looks good. And we're gonna, let me tell you something about cooking real quick. And I was gonna do this today, but I forgot it's too late. Okay? And I was actually gonna do a little bit with truffle oil and olive oil. But here's one of the things when you guys are cooking. No, you can definitely taste the difference between truffle oil and olive oil. Well, even, in, even when I was looking to smell it, and then smell it. Oh my God. Why yeah. do you have it so close to my face? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Jesus, that one is like super, super strong. Yeah. I love truffle anything. Truffle on everything. I would bathe in truffle oil. Oh wait, are you guys the type, if you go to a restaurant, you're spending your hard earned money, you get food and it comes out and you don't like it or it's not hot or it's just not what you thought, do you send it back or do you eat it? 
Yeah, yeah. Take a poll. Let yeah. us know what I you know guys do. I know a lot of people, do. they feel bad about sending stuff back. I send everything back. If it's not right, when I'm paying, especially if it's one of those, you know, if it's if it's a mom pop and they got $7 sandwiches. Okay, but okay, if it's like a Ruth Chris, but it's $13, that thing might yeah. get saved. Yes, yes. Okay, guys, this is what I did. I took them, I smashed them. I just smashed them all the way down to the ground. I just smashed them, did a little smash. <laughs> open them up. Down to the okay. ground. So now I'm gonna take this. All right, so we're just gonna, just gonna kind of spoon it on there. I'm so excited to eat. So the whole point of our channel is that we wanna cook how we cook at home. We're not Food Network. We don't really know how to do this all the way, but we're gonna learn as we go. So please, if you guys have constructive criticism on how we can do this and make this a better experience for you guys, please let us know because this is our first episode. Yeah. And we're kind of just trying it out to see how it goes. We love to cook. We love to talk and we love to eat and we love to drink. So we want to share that experience with you guys. Um, but like I said, if you have a constructive criticism on how it's a better way that we can shoot or talk to you guys or show our food, please let me know. I always get like really good suggestions from um, our YouTube channel people on our crazy family. Feel free to please comment down below if you have any suggestions on things that we can use to make this channel the best experience. And look, I'm just grabbing my daughter's coattail and going to the rock. <laughs> I see the way she's doing this YouTube stuff. I'm like, girl, go ahead. All right, we're going to pop a little bit of just half of it okay. with a little bit of hot. And we're just going to do a little sprinkles. I am, I've never seen you smash okay. potatoes. I know that. I told you this is the first time doing this. I know, but I totally see how this could be a TikTok thing. And then, yeah, and then I'm taking it up a notch. Because what we're going to do is we're going to get in there and get uh -huh. it going. And then we're gonna come back in here with some parmesan. Ooh. Parmesan, some fresh parmesan cheese. And we'll put it in there for the last five minutes. And your potatoes are already cooked through, so it's they're already cooked, yeah. So it's really just getting them like crispy. It's kinda of getting them crispy. But I'm gonna run it in now. Okay? Okay. On side side by side with your salmon. Okay. So right now, um, we're waiting for the salmon to cook. We're waiting for the broth to get put in the oven, but we're not gonna put that in until the last minute because it only probably takes around like yeah. 10 minutes max, if that. And then we're gonna wait for the potatoes and then we'll show you guys our food when it's done. And you know what, here, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say one thing. I've seen some of the comments, because I've been in a couple of her videos. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things that people always say, oh, he's hilarious. I, you know, I appreciate it. That's, I think it's a compliment, make people laugh. But every time we sit down and chop it up, it's not going to be a funny deal. It's not going to be... No. Just like I asked him about his subject matter today. That's kind of heavy. If we want to talk about it today, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I... You know what I've learned is that the more open I am and the more I talk about topics that maybe people would normally shy away from, mm -hmm. the more people are able to relate and be like, I'm happy you covered this conversation. And especially with us being a father and wow. daughter. Wow. Wait a minute. Check that out. You just got Go on, check it out. Oh, that's Bam. really good. Bam. Right? Bam. Woo! Oh, wait, right, but yes. We're gonna let everything bake, and like my dad said, not every conversation is gonna be funny, not every conversation is gonna be light. On this channel, we wanna cover all topics, all yeah. conversations, light, dark, awkward, yes. uncomfortable, race, gender, sexuality, and everything. There, and there might be some subject matter that we need to call in some help. Yeah, or subject matters that we just don't agree on. That's true too. And we've definitely gotten to those crossroads before. Um, but I'm super excited to be starting this channel. I'm excited to go on this journey with you guys. I'm excited to watch our channel grow with you guys. So please like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post. No you gotta learn all these things. Hit the button. No, Dad, it's not hit the button. Oh, okay. <laughs> Say like, comment, subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your post notifications. Oh, really? Turn on your post notifications? Yeah, do that? that's hitting the button. Mm -hmm. Oh. Hit the button. <laughs> I'm done. Okay. Um, I'll tell you one thing. On um, So, Shy kind of got me introduced. Shy and Kyle got me introduced to this kind of Instagram deal. And I'm having fun with it. But you know, the people that I really like are the people that comment. Even if the comment isn't necessarily what I want to hear, uh -huh. it's still a comment. Because that means, okay, they, they're... They're interacting. They're interacting. They're more than just looking at the picture. Yeah. And going, oh, I like, I like, I like. 
or I don't like, or whatever past. Yeah. You know, the comments are kind of what feed me. Because in, in most people I come back to, even if it's just a... Hey. Yeah, hey, all right, thank you. Yeah. You know, so... No, please leave us comments. Let us know topics that you want us yeah, to talk something about. Like, yeah. And guests that we want to bring on. We're, um, of course, going to bring on our spouses. So let me know who you guys want us to have on here. Potato. All right, we're going to check back in break. when the food is done. Okay, all right. Okay, everyone, our food is finally done and out of the oven. I feel like the worst part about cooking is having to wait to eat. But our salmon is done, our roasted um, potatoes are done, and our garlic is out of the oven, and it is so good. Yeah. I think I left them in a little bit too long. Okay. Okay. And I might go with a different kind of cheese that melts better, like a like a nice smoked gouda. Mmm. Oh, I love gouda. But I like it though. If you get the flavors in there, you got no, the garlic. No, I think they're good. In there. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, we're good. Okay, so we're gonna include our recipe. We're putting up a website very, very soon. It will have all of our recipes on it with our flaws and our fixes on it as well. So you guys don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your post notifications, and we'll be back this week with a whole nother video. Bam. See ya.